Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Figured it was time to show you a little bit more in depth of the Storyteller. So we wanted to show you the inside of our 2021 Storyteller Overland Mode Classic. So come on in. So before you even step inside, there's a couple of features I need to show you right here in the front. We've got this awesome table that folds right out so you can do cooking outside. And right underneath that, we've got some storage that's perfect for shoes. When you first step inside, you've got the fridge and freezer combo right here. And also our first little addition to the van, we have a trash can right on the back of the passenger seat. Right behind that, you've got the Groove Lounge, which as most people know, folds all the way out completely into a second sleeping area. There is also a safe hidden underneath here as well. And you've got two seat belts, so the van can hold four people total if you're going on a trip. So right back here, you've got all of your different control panels, which of course the number one most important is that Volta system, which we decided was an absolute must have in whatever van we have. So our first really major mod was adding this shelf right here by White Top Adventures. And it actually has a curtain that goes fully around here on the, I guess you'd say the front of the seats, but if you swivel them, they're gonna be on the back side of the seats. We did that because we want privacy. Uh, so we can just lounge out here, put the laptop on the table, which we don't have the table in right now, but there is a table right here. And we could just uh, watch the movies, but also for Muna, because she likes to hang out on the seats up front during the day. It'll uh, kind of give her a little bit more shade, keep her cooler. And of course, up front, we got Baby Yoda. He is riding along still with us. He's, he's coming on the road. We gotta find a permanent spot for him. But for now, he's kind of just peeking out right here. So very hidden, but right underneath me right here, that is where the toilet seat is hidden. But even cooler than that, for those of you who've never seen a Storyteller van before, is right up here in the cabinet. That is our shower. So it pulls out, the shower tray is where the toilet is sitting, and we can still take a shower right here in the van. And sitting right on top of the little bathroom area right now is our Ninja Foodie Grill. 100% we recommend this to all RV and van lifers. If you can find a place to put it, you can cook absolutely everything in here, which is essential for those of us who don't have an oven. And it makes the most excellent burgers. So if it's too hot outside or the weather's bad, you can grill that sucker inside and make the most perfect burgers ever. Now that being said, we still have a kitchen. We've got a microwave right up here. We've got a huge sink right here. And you'll notice there's nothing sitting right here, but you open up this drawer and we've got an induction cooktop sitting right here so we can still cook everything. And we do right here have this Bluetooth speaker so we can take that outside or keep it inside. We can actually connect it to the laptop when we're watching movies so we'll have good quality sound. So this is the whole back of the van which kind of is a lot of different things. You can see we sort of have a fold down Murphy bed on both sides. This is way bigger than our bed in the Travato so we're really excited about that. And then we have this whole open garage area down here and we've even got some really awesome um, storage that the previous owners added in. We've got an extra fridge and freezer that we are going to be using. We're going to have Muna's litter box back here and we're kind of still working on a few things so that's why it's a mess. And speaking of the portable fridge, that is a 12 volt fridge by Bouge RV and I will have a video coming out uh, talking about its use, how we like it. We haven't been able to use it yet. We're getting ready to leave in a few days, but I will for sure keep you guys posted on that and make a video. 
So we are currently putting a modification on our bed. So we're adding a two inch latex foam topper. And we're also gonna have a mattress protector over that, then followed by the crib sheets that we have found that fit perfectly over each cushion. So as Brittany showed you, this is the shower compartment or the halo ring shower as I call it. But this right here, this right here, this, and then these two overhead storage compartments are all tons of storage. They're pretty deep. And these right here are actually constructed out of uh, aluminum, metal. So they are super strong. Uh, so for us with these, the added overhead cab shelf, we definitely should have more than enough storage. Plus down here, uh, down here we, as you can see, it's kind of a mess. But as Brittany said, we will already have some idea of how we're gonna place things. But we do need to figure out a little bit uh, more storage. We don't wanna put one of those GSS systems in or anything like that. They're awesome, they're a great idea. I would just build one myself if we do decide we want something like that. But uh, a little too pricey, um, in my opinion because I know what goes into making it, so I can make one just like it for for a fair price. But for somebody that doesn't have the tools or the know-how, you know, they're a great product, but we think it just takes a little too much space. We want a nice walk-through area, so we're gonna figure out storage and kind of figure out how we can keep the, the walk-through area. So in this uh, overhead storage compartment, we actually have a Pepwave Max too that the previous owner installed. Uh, this is gonna be really beneficial to kind of give us a stronger Wi-Fi signal if we're bumping off, say like McDonald's Wi-Fi or something like that. We can also insert uh, some SIM cards and have a hotspot from that. So that's really cool that that was already in there by the previous owner. We'll definitely use it to extend the range of uh, any free Wi-Fi signals. Uh, we probably won't put a SIM card in it because our phones have unlimited data and we can use it as a hotspot unlimited. And it's only $25 a month, so you can't really complain about that. Um, probably, if I remember, put some details in the description about our uh, cell service. And we'll probably in the future make a video about what we use for internet on the road. So something that I think is really cool is all of the lights in here dim. So check this out. So cool. And we do actually have some uh, red, green, blue, whatever you want to call them, LED lights. Uh, they're little pods. They kind of look like our ceiling lights. We have three of those that we picked up for like a few dollars. I forget where. But uh, we found them and they were cheap. But we also might run some LED strips around too. That way at nighttime we can get some blue light or green light. You know, a little bit better for the eyes. Uh, so we're thinking about that and it gives some character too. And one other mod that uh, I guess our addition, not really a mod, but that we did was we got an e-bike rack here. Ta -da! So it is a hitch mounted uh, rack from Amazon. Tons of people have used it for e-bikes according to the reviews with success. We've already driven down the road. As you can see we have a temporary plate whole other ordeal we might share that <laughs> in a video once we get to where we're going in a few days uh, but this e-bike rack is a game changer because it's something uh, we were dying for on the road was our e-bikes and now we have it we got the better hitch it sports more vertical weight unlike the Travada that we would have had to reinforce the hitch in order to do that and also guys as you can see we are renting the Travada out and we have the bike rack back on took our box storage off we figured People might want to take their bikes with them when they're renting it. Uh, but yeah, we have the Kuat swing arm, so we can have bikes loaded on here, swing away, and still open the doors. So we think that was a great investment, and it was only like a hundred and I'd have to look. I think a hundred and seventy dollars for that that bike rack. Way mm -hmm. cheaper than other. So ones. yeah, it's it's a deal. So we'll definitely share that in the description. I also just want to mention that right up here you can see a Neil and Britt sticker. Sometimes mods don't always, I don't know if you can really call it a mod, but putting a decal on doesn't always work out the first go around. It also was supposed to be a solid decal with YouTube, 
logo and the person that made it for it messed up so I actually had to trim it and, and stuff and then when I went to put it on I just didn't like the placement uh, in the YouTube logo it just didn't look good the the material with this one the uh, matte black it showed like every little bump in it and that's even with like squeegeeing it out and everything and it was kind of stretching and just looked horrible so we actually got a new one in the mail today so I got to peel that one off put the new one on and wait till in another video when you see the new one you'll see and, it uh, soon it's gonna be pretty cool look at me I'm up here on our roof deck we can sit up here and hang out and Neil's definitely going to need to put an umbrella up here for me. So yeah, let me uh, try, to, try to climb up here. I'm knocking over stuff. <laughs> Alright, that way I can actually show you guys what it looks like. We're actually half under a carport right now. Uh, but yeah, it's a front runner um, rooftop deck slash rooftop storage. Um, we're not sure if we're going to throw our, our thin uh, storage box up there or not yet. I think we are because we want to bring our nice rocking camp chairs. But uh, when we do that, you guys will see that too. And as you guys have probably seen, if you're a Storyteller fan, Brittany's still up there. <laughs> uh, they are on the Mercedes Sprinter chassis. And the good thing about that is, for us, a little bit more power, a little bit more acceleration compared to the Ram, for sure. We accelerate much better, get into highways merging much better, so we really like that. Um, and also, means we no longer need to deal with propane. So this has a diesel heater inside, and then has the Volta system, which we love. If you were a fan of our last van, the Travato you'll recognize the system so we this is actually a bigger Volta system so we feel like we made a pretty good pretty good decision in this so as we do more mods and we begin to our travels we'll show you more that we add to it uh, but those videos most likely be in passing or there'll be videos about an uh, installation like the shelf right there we'll have a whole installation video later this week uh, for that, so if you're interested in that, it's a very affordable $300 shelf with the built-in blackout curtain. So we highly recommend it. Much cheaper than the competitors out there. I just want to say that's $600 cheaper than yeah. the competitors. Which is, to me, is just ridiculous. Like I said, as you guys have noticed on our channel, I like to do mods myself. We've done pool house builds, cabin builds, uh, you know, renovations. So I like to get my hands dirty. And for me to spend $900 to $1,000 on a shelf and curtain set is not in the cards. <laughs> so that's a really great option uh, and we will have a video specifically on that. We hope you guys enjoyed this quick little rundown tour of our Storyteller. There are a lot more detailed videos out there if you would like to see them. We highly recommend Chad and Paul. So please consider giving this video a big thumbs up. Drop a comment below. Do you like the Storyteller better than the Travato? Maybe, maybe not. Um, yeah, that's all I got to say. Yeah, and thanks for watching, but we're going to let you go because these bugs are eating yeah, me alive. Yeah, they're eating my legs. <laughs> so we'll see you guys on the next one. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see